Hi folks, I was, uh, I'm back on the, uh, we we'll we could possibly call this part 5. I'm back on the Fidelity MC2, uh, sorry, MC5 uh, Music Centre and I noticed there was a problem with the FM. No matter what I did, I couldn't get a clear station. And uh, in the manual it tells you to adjust the uh, brown transformer here. Have I turned this off? Yeah. It tells you to adjust the brown transformer here. Uh, well, I adjusted that, and I got nothing in FM. That is, it tells you to connect to Wobulator. Well, I haven't got a Wobulator, so I did it by ear, and I was getting nothing here, no, no difference. Uh, and then I realised that this section here is the AM. Pardon me, this is all AM here. Your FM's over this side because you've got your FM, uh, you've got your FM chip here, your front end chip here, I believe. You, you, yeah, you've got your FM front end here, and you've got your decoder here, stereo decoder. And the one you the one you actually adjust, you actually adjust the pink transformer here, and you adjust the black transformer here. And if need be, you adjust the uh, the indicator for the. Uh, you know, you adjust the uh, potentiometer there for the stereo, for the stereo beacon as they used to call it, the FM stereo indicator, and the this one here, I think adjusts your oscillator, or it could be this one here that adjusts your oscillator. I can't remember offhand, but uh, I adjusted this, and when I adjusted this, it made a vast improvement. Uh, so it was a combination of that, 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 and that. And, uh, and of course because I adjusted that, because the manual told me to, I had to then go and just check the AM. Anyway, we'll switch it on and we'll have a listen. So, just grab the aerial because... Let's find the station. Oh, that's AM. The reason why it's low is because my neighbour's in bed and it's like four in the morning or something, maybe later. There we go. Where's my glasses? I can't see the goddamn dial. Can't see me frigging glasses either. Well, there's classic FM and smooth radio should be next to that. And that's smooth radio, but getting a bit of, if I lift the aerial up off the floor, there we go. Sorry for wafting you around there. There we go. There, I'm holding the aerial up. That's lovely and clear. Right, so that's working now. Chariots of fire. And it had trouble. It had trouble getting Radio 1, but it gets that now.
and there's radio 2 right so basically let's turn it off so basically to pull the alignment in I had to adjust that 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 and the oscillator there <coughs> <clears throat> because the manual was wrong and I've got somebody interested in this uh, a lady friend of mine a la lady who I know uh, interested in this and um, she's coming one day this week with her husband to have a look at it so I want to make sure it's got to be right I don't like thinking, I won't let anything leave here unless it's got to be 100%. It's got to be spot on, otherwise it won't leave here. Because I don't believe in doing that. I'm an honest man. And uh, I also have a reputation for uh, selling good quality products. And, you know, this I'll go as far as say this is no better than what it was when it left the factory back in 1977-78. No better than what it was then. But it'll, uh, you know, it probably is a little bit better. It probably is a little bit better, a bit better on the alignment because I had a I was given a UA9, a Fidelity UA9, uh, when I was uh, fourteen, for my Christmas present, and uh, and that thing was brand new, and uh, it struggled with FM, but there wasn't a lot on FM back then, so nobody really bothered. Most people listened to Radio One. Radio 1 was on medium wave, so nobody really bothered. It wasn't on FM then, it only went to FM on a Sunday night for the top 40 when it when it uh, took over Radio 2's frequency uh, for a couple of hours to do the top 40. Then it was back on AM again. <laughs> well, it never left AM, it just simulcast, well, it did it simulcast on FM, but uh, you know, that's the only time it did it. But uh, yeah. But with stations on there, oh, pardon me, with stations, with all the stations that are on there, I mean, it was having trouble picking Smooth up. And I know these people listen to Smooth. Uh, these people that are interested, I know they listen to Smooth. So, you know, it's got to be able to pick up what they want to listen to. You know, I wouldn't want to buy a radio that can't get a station that I like. You know, if I know I'm in an area that the station can easily be received in. Which, you know, smooth can be received where in our area with no issues. And uh, this thing just couldn't get it. it. Well, if it did, it well, it did, but you couldn't make out what it was. It was that distorted. Anyway, folks, uh, <coughs> I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to stick the back on here, make a brew, go to bed. <sighs> See if I can be bothered uploading this video tonight. Anyway, folks, um... Uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah we'll call this uh, the Fidelity Music Centre Part 4 uh, 5 and um, it was just a simple I'll just go through the alignment again uh, well, I'll go through what I adjusted again just to make sure I covered everything uh, I didn't adjust this because it didn't need it I adjusted the pink transformer here, well well, actually I started off adjusting the brown transformer here, which is what the manual tells you to adjust, but that's wrong, it should be just the pink one. And the black one here, I had to adjust that, that black one just under them wires, I had to adjust that. Uh, this, one, this one here, this little trimmer here, I had to adjust that. And I had to adjust this here. And then because I'd adjusted that, I had to then check the AM and set this back up. And I also managed to gain uh, a bit better frequency response from the AM by adjusting the AM oscillator, which is here. Uh, that's your AM, that's your medium, that's your medium wave oscillator, that's medium wave adjustment there. That's your long wave adjustment. That's just general tuning, I think. Uh, adjustment, uh, alignment for, you know, aligning your pointer to your stations. You know, you set it to a station, you know, that you know it comes in on, and then you adjust this. 
you know for that particular station which is what I do anyway anyway and this one is your FM this is one is your FM oh sorry this one is your FM oscillator adjustment here and uh, that's all been done and uh, uh, but never ever ever never ever ever completely go off the manual sometimes the manuals are bang on sometimes they get a couple of things wrong so you know the lesson there is never go off the manual uh, <sighs> the only thing manuals are good for really is if you get stuck with a problem because you get the schematic diagrams and stuck stuff but uh, I've even known them to be wrong and all on occasions you know there's uh, been components omitted or added and you know they haven't told you and you think hang on a minute this has got something like that that you shouldn't have or somebody's had something out of it you know but uh, yeah I'm quite happy now to give this radio board here eh? I'm quite happy now to give that radio chassis a clean bill of health uh, the main chassis here, the main audio chassis as they call it uh, that's got a clean bill of health it had a, I replaced this IC here uh, for the cassette preamp the audio ICs in this have never been replaced uh, they are the originals you can tell by the solder that's on them they are the original ICs that were put in here when this thing was made um, but anyway having said that everything's right on here now I've just got to tidy all the cables up and uh, generally oh, pardon me folks put the bottom back on and get to bed I'll catch you later thanks for watching folks bye for now